Hey everybody, my name is Jeff Challen. I'm your instructor this semester. Uh, I like to go by Jeff. You're also welcome to call me Jeffrey. If you don't feel comfortable using my first name, you're also welcome to call me Professor Challen. I don't really like just being called Challen, so I would appreciate if you wouldn't do that, but there are other options. I also want to point out that other faculty that you interact with will have different expectations about how you refer to them. So in general, referring to faculty as professor so-and-so is a safe place to start. At that point, they may say, oh, you can just call me Jeff or whatever, but start off with professor so-and-so. Um, that's a, a nice way to refer to people. Um, so in this video, I want to share with you just a few things about myself. Uh, these are personal things. They're not necessarily related to our work together in the class. These are things that I'm grateful for. These are things in my life that I find meaning from, um, and they're things that, um, you know, I just feel like it would be nice to share. Uh, things I like about the area, stuff I like to do, uh, and ways that we can potentially connect, um, you know, outside of the classroom, uh, not just together through our work in the course. So I'm going to do this just by sharing some links, actually. Uh, so I'm going to go over here and, you know, I think if I think about things that I'm grateful for, my staff, a uh, great place to start, right? And we'll start in the course, in the context of the course. But we have just such an amazing group of tutors that are working with the course this semester, both in senior leadership roles. And these are people who have been around for a long time. And then just many, many people um, in roles that are there to help you out on a daily basis. So, you know, the University of Illinois is a big place. And one of the things that I want to make sure you feel comfortable with is this idea that you don't have to focus time and energy on getting to know faculty. Um, you know, faculty are fine. You know, we're sort of interesting sometimes, uh, but we're older. There's not very many of us. And the most meaningful relationships that you're going to make during your time at Illinois are going to be with other students. And there's also like a tremendously interesting community that you're now a part of that includes staff, that includes, you know, affiliates, that includes people that work in the surrounding area. So, you know, look around for interesting things to do and interesting groups to become a part of. But, you know, don't focus your time and energy on getting to know faculty, right? There's just not that many of us. And, you know, we're not a good place to start in terms of having meaningful relationships. Like, get to know your roommates. Get to know the people who live nearby. Get to know, you know, the bus driver on the bus that you ride every day. Find activities that you want to participate in that bring you into contact with people uh, that have similar interests. I'll talk about a couple of those in a sec. Um, so uh, my wife, Susanna, is a therapist at the university. She's, you know, the love of my life. This is the most important relationship in the entire world to me. Um, and she's also an artist. So I thought I would just show you a little bit of her website. Uh, she does these amazing uh, art journals is what she calls them. But I would just call them sort of art uh, mixed media. Um, and so she's involved with that. She also works with students uh, as part of DREZ here on campus. Um, and has in a, a variety of really interesting interests. Um, so she's my favorite person in the entire world. Um, uh, we have two pets, uh, super interested in animals. So these are our, our beauties, our fur babies. Uh, Gracie uh, is our dog on the right. She's also hanging out with me on the couch right now. And uh, next to her is Ziz, our cat. Um, so we really enjoy having them around. Um, you know, I work at home. A fair amount of the time and so Gracie and Ziz are my companions as I'm recording videos and creating infrastructure for the course and doing the things I do here. Um, so we just really love having animals in our life. Um, uh, music is tremendously important to me. Uh, it's something that I find an enormous amount of joy and meaning in um, and a big nexus of that for me is the radio station KEXP. So this is an independent radio station out of Seattle, Washington. They now have a new transmitter in the Bay Area as well. So they're on the air in Seattle, but they stream all over the world. And so I've been listening to KEXP and supporting them for a long time. I discover a ton of new music this way. Um, if you're into independent rock, uh, that's most of what's on the air at KEXP, but they have a bunch of different shows uh, that, that highlight other types of music as well. And, you know, amazing DJs, real actual human beings that are programming music all day long and, and discovering incredible stuff uh, to listen to. So, uh, you know, the, the ability to continue to experience new music is something that really means a lot to me. So um, I also love to read. So uh, always... You know, uh, working on a couple of books, uh, usually one nonfiction, one fiction. Uh, love to get recommendations for books to read uh, and 
particularly like right now coming off just a, a great stretch of novels, including uh, a, a few really beautiful books. This book, The Friend by uh, Sigrid Nunez was, was just amazing. A uh, book called uh, The Netherlands by Joseph O'Neill down here in Netherland. Um, and then uh, The Year of Rest and Relaxation by Osefa Mosfeg. And those were just really beautiful novels. So uh, love to talk about books, love to talk about reading. Uh, if you're reading something great, let me know. Um, also read a lot of nonfiction as well, both tech related and, and other things. Um, I play Ultimate Frisbee. So for the past couple of years, I've uh, rediscovered this as part of my life and love it. Uh, so there's a great community here in uh, the Champaign-Urbana area of people who enjoy this sport, kind of strange niche sport, but a beautiful sport, a non-contact sport, a very physically demanding uh, sport, and just a really fun and you know, wonderful thing to do, right? So I love going out and just losing myself in the game for a couple of hours, and it's a great way for me to get away from the, the work I have to do to support you um, and, you know, the technical work I do, which can be very frustrating. So uh, it's just a lot of fun. Uh, if you're interested in this, the website's right there, ultimatecu.org. And I love seeing students on the field. I have a lot of former students who uh, I meet uh, on the field and get to develop kind of different kind of relationship with through our shared interest in this, in this game. Um, also love the outdoors. Um, so pretty much every week on Sunday morning, we head over to Allerton with our with Gracie and, and go for a walk in the forest. Uh, Allerton is just an amazing spot. Uh, please don't spend your entire time here and not make it out there uh, for a hike. Uh, the grounds are open throughout the day. There are ornamental gardens. There's statuary in the woods. But there's also just like beautiful, sort of pristine, somewhat untouched uh, woods that you can walk in, beautiful trees, um, and just it's a, a quiet place for relaxation and to commune with nature and to, to soak up all the good energy that the trees are emanating. So it's a lot of fun. Um, I also love doing new things uh, both inside and outside the classroom. So I'll just put a shameless plug in here for a new course that I'm teaching. This is the first time in fall 2024. Uh, this is a course on uh, technology and society. Uh, so this is a complete departure from CS124. It is not a technical course. There is no writing code. Um, it's a course that is designed to allow us to engage with the process of examining how we relate to technology and how technology is changing our lives, uh, both for the better and I would argue sometimes for the worse. Uh, so if you're interested in this course, uh, you know, I will post more information on the forum and also on Reddit, which sort of serves as a little bit of an unofficial bulletin board for our department. Um, but, you know, the participation in the class will involve reading, uh, discussing uh, individual one-on-one -on -one conversations with classmates, reflection, doing some writing, uh, engaging with some of the, the questions and interesting things that come up in the reading, and then also an element of personal experimentation. So we're going to try some things, right? We're going to encourage you to run some of your own experiments in your life to see if making some changes to the way that you relate to technology, to the way that you use technology, uh, to the way that technology shapes your view of the world might be beneficial, right? Uh, so we'll try some things together and kind of discuss what happens. Um, so that's me. I'm super excited to, to be involved with the course. I've been here since 2017. I've been working on this course the whole time. Uh, I'm not done. You know, I always tell people if I run out of things to do, if I run out of new ideas, if I run out of ways that I feel like I can uh, contribute to making the course better, I will quit and I will do something else or to at least teach a different course. Uh, but I haven't got there yet. Um, I think 124 is a fantastic course. I think that's a large part because of the, the synergy between the people and all of the technology that we use to support you. Um, but there's new things that we're going to be doing this semester. Uh, we're going to try new stuff. We continue to push the envelope. We always want to innovate. We always think the course can improve, and we're always working on it. So, um, But I'd love to you know, get to know at least a few of you. Um, please take an opportunity to say hi if you see me on campus, um, and I'll have some office hours or uh, I think my colleague calls them happy hour uh, that we'll do during the semester uh, that will really just be an opportunity to get to know each other on a non, in a non-academic sense. So not a place for questions about the course, but just a place to come and talk and, and share our experiences of life and talk about things that we like um, and that we find meaning in. So um, it was, uh, you know, I hope uh, you enjoy the course and I really look forward to meeting some of you soon.